Hi, uh, Hiro Mahuji here from kendoguy.com. Uh, obviously, I'm driving and I'm sure you hear those noise uh, because I'm driving. I apologize for that, but the, uh, I didn't have time to record this at home and I'm on my way to、um, a meeting、uh, of Japanese class, so I'm sorry、uh, I'll do it in my car.、Uh, I'm making this video so、um, uh, people. To, to, as an answer to this question, that、um, he is always tense, it sounds like.、Um, he wants to relax more in Jigeko. Jigeko is sparring, and not only shoulders, but probably upper body in general. His hands and his.、Um, His hands, his arms, and everything basically. So, here's why. Let's think about why, okay?、Uh, the reason is easy because、uh, it's pretty psychological. So, you want to hit, right? You are going to, hit, you're really ready. Your mind is set. You're ready to execute strikes. And of course, your adrenaline is kicking in, so you're really, really、uh, you know, excited. Okay, and then that's how you are really tight. Okay, forearms, everything. And I remember、uh, when I,、uh, my sensei, Tsurumaru sensei, late、uh, Tsurumaru sensei, he was ninth n i n e And he was telling us that how he got really nervous、uh, when, when he was in, in the World War II. And he was walking, walking around, I don't remember exactly, I'm sorry, just cutting the chase. He had to draw out his sword, okay? And it turned out、uh, he didn't encounter with、uh, his enemy, okay? Uh, but he thought he had to fight, but he didn't have to. All right, that's good. Right, but he drew out his sword and he now doesn't have to fight, but he couldn't let go. His, his hands are so tight, right? Like he wanted to let go, he wanted to, you know, put his sword back, but he was like tense and didn't move. Right, and his、um, team members、uh, w a s telling him that,、uh, boss, you don't have to fight. It's okay, it's okay. But he just goes, I know, but I can't let go. My fists are like, you know, frozen. I can't let go. That happened. Probably that's what's going on. Okay, so what that means is when we are fighting, it's really fighting, right? We. We, adrenaline kicks in and we're all excited, and then just you know,、uh, it is all natural thing. But what we have to calm ourselves down in order for us to keep us heijoshin. Okay, heijoshin means calm your mind, calm mind. Okay, you, you don't go <laughs> like just calm and You can see everything as if you're not in a fight. Okay? So it is very hard to do. That's why we are training, basically. Okay? But it doesn't help you. It's not a solution for you. Okay? One thing you can do is breathing. Okay? If you breathe properly, it will calm yourself down. Okay? That's one thing. Okay? Let's calm yourself down. Okay, when you get excited, your breathing becomes shallow <laughs> like that. Okay, that's not good. If you want to calm yourself down, you have to, deep breathe, you have to breathe deeply. Okay, I'm sorry. Deeply. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out. When you breathe out nice and long, you breathe in without thinking.
Okay, so that's normal. You have to breathe in because you're breathing now your the air out of your body. Your body says you don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm gonna breathe in. Okay, so and you breathe there until the end. Actually, you have to uh, have some little air left in your lungs, right? And then let it all the job. Let the body do the work and breathe in and then this is very important you gotta learn how to breathe okay that's one thing to help you relax all right and then in and how do you do that in jigeko sparring you go yeah nice and long breathe in the ki breathe that means breathing now yeah yeah, that makes your ki very, very strong. Okay. Once you become higher, okay, more advanced, okay, you don't want to let your opponent knows you when you you're breathing. Okay, so you don't go yeah, and your opponent can tell. Okay, he's gonna breathe in soon, and then you're gonna get hit. Okay, because when you breathe in, actually, you're kind of motion okay your brain is kind of you can't move as quick you can't move your body when you're breathing in okay that's why you gotta breathe in long and then breathe when you breathe in you have to breathe in really quickly but as you become advanced it has to be subtle okay okay this is another story but okay you don't have to worry about this now okay you have to worry about how you can be relaxed first. First, you have to practice your ki. Yeah! Nice and long. Okay? When you do that, bring all the air down to the stomach and imagine that those air goes right through your shinai to your opponent. Okay, that means your energy goes right into the tummy, okay, lower abdominal, and it goes through the Kensaki, the Shinai and the Kensaki and your opponent. Yeah. Okay. While you do, while you're doing that, relax. I mean, not relax. Shoulders down. And go, yeah. Hands are relaxed. You have to tell yourself that though. That's that's where it comes. You have to train yourself. Yeah. Nice and relax. Yeah. Concentrate on Kiai. Okay, breathe in now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to practice that first and then you can move up to next level. Okay? You practice that during basic movement. Okay? Yeah. Kitty catch as well. Man. Man, 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 man. If you don't do this practice, man, man, breathing out and man, 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 man. That you you can't do this in just in Jigeko, okay? So that's first thing you do. A lot of ki, long breathe out. Yeah. Shoulders down. All the energy, all the air going to your stomach, lower abdominals, and then goes through your shinai and it goes at your opponent. Imagine that, okay? And then I I do that too. Um, you know you you have to use your mind as much as possible to increase your uh, to improve your kindle and then if you imagine really vividly it will come true so it will help to achieve your goals okay, whatever you have all right so you're training kindle but at the same time you're training uh, how to achieve your goal as well okay i want you to remember that okay and then go yeah okay that's another thing to do okay now this is something you can work on immediately okay and also you have to train yourself physically that the reason you are tense is you have those unnecessary strength in your hands and your shoulders in your arms okay uh, you have to learn how to loosen up okay the one is the one i said just before Okay, you can do it right away and you can apply them. The other one is you have to have sensei. 
Okay, he pushes you very hard. He trains you very hard. Okay, because you train hard, you drain those unnecessary strength. Okay, that means you're very tired, very very tired. You don't have any strength left in your hands, in your arms, in your arms, in your shoulders. You're very tired, and then your body. And then this is important. When that happens, you have to know. You have to remember. That is how you relax. That is the status of your body parts when you have no unnecessary strength in your hands, in your arms, in your shoulders. You might feel very weak, but you don't have unnecessary strength. It's good. It's just enough to hold your shinai. Okay, and then go. Ah, man. Man, you mo- you wanna quit? You wanna cry? You might cry. Okay, that's what happens in Japan when you were little. Okay, but my father started when he was fifty-five. Okay, when he was fifty-five, and he had to go through that. Of course, he didn't go through exactly what I went through, like really hard training. But he was fifty-five, and he had already physical limitation. But my sensei trained my father too. My sensei trained him until his physical limitation. He was 55. He's adult. He has all you know social status. But he was a student. Okay. My father it was, and it's well, if he was alive, he is still older than my sensei. But in kendo, he's a student. It doesn't matter how you know he's he's older, but he was a student. So. My sensei gave my father a little hard time so he can hit the limit of his physical strength, and he can still taste of hard training, and he will know what good strike, what how your body feels when you don't have unnecessary strength. Okay, that is the important thing, guys. Okay, you it's a discipline. Okay, your hard training is a discipline. You want to quit, but you keep going. That's very important. But also, your body needs to know how it feels like when you don't have unnecessary strength. Okay, that is very important part of training. Okay, you might have to go through that if you're young, like twenties or thirties still, or forties. You don't want to lose. You don't want to get hit. Adrenaline kicks in. You go, okay. But in order for you to relax, you have to go through certain things. Okay, remember one thing: kiai. Yeah, breathing. Okay. Yeah, nice and long. Kiai. Yeah, man, 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 man. All lower abdominals. Not here. Not here. Not here, okay. Lower abdominals. Concentrate on that. Concentrate, concentrate on long kiai. And man, okay. And then it will make you tired. So you will you will learn how to relax, how to get rid of this unnecessary excessive strength, okay. So you will learn it, and then you need to push yourself until physical limitation. What that means? You are very tired. You feel weak, but that's the time you have to. Your body will remember. You have to force your body to remember this status. Okay, nice and relax. No excessive strength like this. Okay, nice and relax. You feel my weak, but relax. You don't re- feel remember that, and then you have to replicate that when you have. All kinds of energy, but lower abdominals is really filled filled up with energy. Okay, that's the goal. Work towards that. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will make another video. Maybe driving. I hopefully I don't have to be driving, but uh, I might have to. When I have to do it, please forgive me. But I will make sure I'll deliver my answers to your questions. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.